Uh, this week we're going to do some really simple crafts for Halloween. Basically I got ideas because I needed a few little extra things to decorate around my house. And also I was putting together some kits for here at the library. So some little bags that are going out for kids that um, are checking out books this week. So, uh, so first of all... I've got a little pipe cleaner spider and if you have things at home you might have a few pipe cleaners around I was looking for black but I ended up you know if you have just one multi-pack of colors you can make a black and red spider or green and brown or I made this blue and purple because I didn't want to use up all the Halloween -y colors. So you need two or th three or four pipe cleaners. If you have four you can make a bigger body. You wrap it around to make a bigger body. So you take two. I'm gonna have the legs be the black part. Just have to fold them in half and cut them again slightly strong safety scissors should work just fine and now I have four little pieces that will become my eight legs and I'm going to wrap the other pipe cleaner around it I found that actually three was enough I, for my purposes just gonna keep wrapping and wrapping but if I want him to have a, a larger body, I will just wrap another one around. In the little bags we're giving here, we gave three, and that really is sufficient. So there I have a nice, bodacious little spider. I can pull the little legs out into more of a circle. And I can bend them so he has little le looks more like legs that will actually move, could walk. And the only other thing I need is some school glue or some kind of safety glue and some googly eyes. And again, most of these are things you might have around your house now for your home, your school supplies. That's what I liked about these things. Uh, the only thing you might not happen to have is googly eyes. I got these at a dollar store and I got a whole bag of them, about this big of a bag for a dollar. So that's something that could be useful. You could ask your parents to get one and then you and your siblings, brothers and sisters might be able to do a few different crafts. And if you don't have googly eyes, you can use paper and color on the paper and you can make very cool eyes that way too. So for my second craft, I did something really basic but fun and makes a cool jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin. Whoop. I just took a piece of orange paper, or you might have construction paper, and cut them inch slices. And I learned that if I draw the face on my pumpkin first, I want about four strips together to make the face. And because it's going to be put into this round mode you figure out where you want to have the top of your face start at least a third of the way down even a little more so I'm gonna just do you can make a really scary face or I think I'm making just kind of a friendly pumpkin face Now, well, I might want my mouth to be a little different. 
almost a clown, isn't it? Could be a little bit scary. I thought about taping my strips together, but I'm afraid the tape might not come off to hold them. If you're a big kid, you could help your little brother or sister hold the pieces while they draw. Okay, I've got my face. And now I'm attaching the strips. I could either attach another strip at the bottom or at the top. But the tape is here, so I'm gonna put it at the top of my face. Again, I wanna keep the pieces of my face so I remember in order. So uh, it's easier to put the whole thing together. Taping that one. So now I have these extra long strips that we're going to put together to make the pumpkin. I have one, two, three, four with the face, five, six, six pieces will work, maybe eight. This one will have my the face stretched out more. So I put these pieces together to make a circle. And I'm putting these pieces together to make another circle. Actually, works better for me to put a cross piece in here of a blank one. Eight pieces total is nice and even and easy that way. So I'm putting my exactly a T with my other ring, a little off actually, more of an X. And then I'll do the other middle of my face. And I've lost it there, lost the face. So you probably have all these school supplies at home now because of doing school at home. And tape gives me a little bit of options. I can figure out what looks good. And then I'm gonna staple it to secure it. I don't want too many staples because that gets hard to fix things. Just get my eyes on the sides of the nose. It's about time to do one staple in the top. Now that I'm pretty happy with how I'm pretty happy with how this mouth is going. Kind of a puzzle. I made my own puzzle and it's a little challenge to make sure it goes back right. The 
but the most important part is the front, the face. So I'll do one more uh, with the face, and then I can put other strips to fill in the whole circle as I need to. So that looks about right. All right, getting a little bit hefty, a little bit thick with the staples. Making sure my mouth lines up. I have a good, sort of funny, sort of scary pumpkin there. So now I have one more little pumpkin to decorate. You could put that in your room, maybe. I've got my two little spiders. More little pumpkin to decorate. You could put that in your room, maybe. I've got my two little spiders. You can play with these. And that's what we've got for our Halloween crafts.